Good morning, everyone. Robert here, JL518, welcoming you to the third quarter of this Won Nelly college football play test that we're doing. Still trying, I'm still trying to get the best setup for you guys. So if I do decide to take this game under my wing and let you decide, and so you can see everything, they did a couple of uh, changes here in the play test and such. Still have the charts uh, where I need them. Uh, we are at the Orange Bowl. This is the third quarter of this game between 2019 LSU and 2001 Miami. We are tied at 13, and we're really just playing play tests. We're, I don't know if I'm really doing everything perfectly here, but we're trying to uh, see where this game could go. I'm already getting some uh, some uh, feedback from you guys saying that it's just not that deep. Some people are saying that it flows very well. Some people are saying that it's a pretty good abstract game of college football. So we shall see what happens as we continue. Right now, I mean, as far as the scoring is concerned, I have no problem with a 13-13 game between uh, offensive powerhouse LSU 2019 and defensive powerhouse 2001 Miami. I have no problem with the score. So the score is very believable. Uh, and maybe probably would be a curve between these two teams. You know, un the unstoppable, the uh, immovable object against the unstoppable force. So pretty much between these, uh, between these two programs. Uh, Miami gets the football starting the third quarter. They deferred in the first half, so LSU now will kick off. Miami will get the ball, and uh, we shall see how it goes. I went ahead and put the cards utilizing the dividers I use for my base for inside pitch uh, for baseball. Put them over here now, make it maybe a little bit quicker that I can get the cards here. Defense card is still here. And uh, we're still going to use uh, how we're still going to work how it works here. So we'll um, I'm still going to roll all the dice at uh, one time. And now we have uh, different choices of a dice here. I should change this uh, back to a black, which I think I wanted to do to make it easier to read. A lot of people are complaining the dice that came with the game were a little bit uh, not easy to read, and I completely and I agree with you on that. So. And maybe we won't roll all the dice in much here, so let's just go ahead and roll the dice we do need. Put them here, and uh, let's try, and let's see what happens. So third quarter, LSU and Miami. So Miami gets the kickoff, and the kickoff, uh, the kickoff average for Miami's kick returner, which is Andre Johnson, and he has a 20-yard average, so we roll the D10, the D12, and the D20 to see if anything happens. So that is a six, and his average is 20, and that's only going to be about 16 yards. So he returns it back to the 16-yard line, and that is where the Canes will take over. I knew I should probably wrote first upside down there, so but I'm being we'll leave it there. So the Canes take over at their own 16, first down and 10. So here comes quarterback Ken Dorsey, who pretty much to end that half made a three-play drive and drove the ball downfield in a minute and 30 where Miami took uh, tied this game up against LSU. All right, so we're, we're playing both offenses. LSU was on defense, so let's see what we get. Uh, it's going to be a – Miami's going to call an outside run. And LSU was going to call a zero, which is a defensive line stunt cover. And so here's the defense for that. So it's just a running play. So we just roll the D10 and a two, and that is a one. So it is a it's an outside run. So it's a handoff to Clinton Porter on Clinton Clinton Portis on a half bound counter sweep. It's a two yard gain. And there's and there is no defense there. There's no the LSU card doesn't say anything on it, so that's just a gain of two yards. So from the 16 to the 18, and that will be second down and eight. 
Second and eight. Let's do short pass. LSU calls a zero, and that is, again, the, th the same play this time. Second time that play's been called. But now we roll the percentages and that. So it's a short pass by Dorsey. And that is going to be a 75. And that's going to be in that's going to be incomplete. 75 is higher than a short pass percentage completion. So that's going to be incomplete. And it will be third down. We'll try. So we're third down and eight now. And I'm going to have to go a long pass. So now we do a long pass to see if we can uh, get pick up the first down for the Canes. And a three is called, so it's an A-gaps blitz covered this time. So that's the defense there. And against a long pass, that does make a difference. Let's, a difference. Let's find out. So now third down and eight at the 18. And that is a 48, and that is going to be incomplete. That's going to be incomplete. Ken Dorsey, 48 to 96, incomplete there. No penalty, so that's fourth down. So the Canes come right back, come on the field to start the third quarter, and no dice. So Canes will have to punt. So they'll go to a fourth down punt. The punt average for Canes is cap. That is Freddie Capshaw. He's the punter, and it's an average of 42 yards on a punt. So let's see what we get on the punt return. And that is a two, and that is going to be an automatic fair catch. But the average, let's see what the average is. That's a, that's a two on a 42-yarder. Actually, first it's a two. So the average, what's his average? It's 42 yards, and that is actually, that's not a good punt. That's only a 35-yard kick. So 7, 17, 27, 37. It's taken at the 47-yard line of LSU. Now let's see the return, which is made by Edwards Hilaire. He has a punt, uh, no, by Stingley. Uh, that's uh, Derek Stingley, who is the return man. And... There's going to be a there's going to be a penalty. Actually, the first we we'll only roll it once, so that is going to be an eight. Stingley is a ten on a punt return, so that's going to be a nine yard return for Stingley. So he actually brings it into Miami's forty four yard line, and that is where they're going to take possession. There, thirteen forty five left in the quarter. So here comes Joe Burrow. Miami now goes on defense. We switch the cards. Miami goes up against a pass-heavy defense. So first down LSU with the Miami 44. We'll see what Joe Burrow can do here. And for LSU, they're pass-heavy. Let's keep on running it. Let's keep on throwing it. So short pass. Let's see what Miami chooses. And, ah, dang it. Not good. And that is going to be sue a dice. Reroll. Ah, no problem. Maybe being a maybe be an improvement. Uh, that is a four, and that's going to be a DL cover. That's going to be a DL stunt cover one. So that's the defense there. So it's a short pass, and that's going to be an eighty-three, and that is going to be incomplete. Joe Burrow has an eighty-five. Uh, that's a short pass, minus 8% from that completion percentage. So that makes a 77. That's an 83. That's going to be incomplete. No penalty. So incomplete pass as Miami calls a good defense. Second down and 10. Let's go outside run. Try maybe fake them out a bit. Miami calls a three. This time it's a zone blitz quarters. So zone blitz quarter defense, outside run, and that is a seven on an outside run. That is a rollout keeper by Joe Burrow. He actually takes it himself, and again, there is no change from the defense. That's a 10-yard gain, so Burrow gets 10 yards. He'll get down to the 34, and that's a first down. Burrow keeps it himself and takes it on an outside run. Rollout keeper gets a 10-yard gain. 
First down LSU at the Miami 34 this time. Let's go back to short pass. See what the defense is. That's going to be a two. It goes back. It's going to stay zone. It's going to stay zone blitz. Back to throw is Burrow. And that is a 46 on a short pass. That will be complete. And that's going to be a slant route to Justin Jefferson for five yards. So he gets down to the 29. And that will be second down at about five. Second and five here for my for LSU at the 34. We'll stick with the short pass. Why not? Stick with what works. That is a three, and that is a zone blitz quarters again. Now, that's the third time that defense is called. Now, the Wonelli card is supposed to come into play. So we bring out the Wonelli card, and we'll see what happens here. First, we got to do the play. So let's see. So here's the play, and that is a 17, and that is going to be a sack. A 0, -zero 21 roll is going to be a sack. That's going to be a sack on him for, and that's a 17. Let's see what the how, how many yards, and that was a short pass, and the, that's five yards, and that is going to be a five-yard loss on the sack. And as a possible fumble on the play because the roll Nelly was called. And the zero says a zero is a possible fumble. And now we roll again. No effect except big play result. Let's say. And that is a zero. Nope, no fumble. So that takes care of the Wo Nelly card on that one. That goes back to here. But it is a it is a so he's back to the 34, and that now brings up third down. That was a five-yard loss, so it's third down and 10. So third and 10 now. And we move the clock. Yeah. So third and 10. And they need to do a long pass. They want to pick up the first down. So long pass coming up. And Miami will call a three. They're going to stick with the zone blitz. But now that's a fourth time it's been called in the run. But now it's reset. So, again, they're going to stick with zone blitz quarters. And that is a 78. And that is on a, on a long pass, minus 8%. Not a chance. That's going to be incomplete. Fourth down. So, Miami's defense got a little stingy suddenly and shuts down. LSU on that brings it down to brings that down clock one space. And so 34 yards away, what is the kickoff? What's the field goal chance for Cade York? Actually, 34 yards, so it's really not 34. It's uh it's 51 yard kick. Cade York was not a bad kicker. He's got it's it's a 51 yard try. Be zero. It would be a 59-yard, 59 or lower, he makes the field goal. So LSU is going to try the field goal here. So here comes Cade York, the LSU kicker. He's going to try a field goal here. So this is a 51-yard attempt. You just roll the percentage dice and the penalty. So a 59 or lower, this kick is good. A double zero or zero one, it's blocked. And that is a 36, and that ball goes straight into the uprights for, for three, and LSU takes the lead. So Cade York goes ahead and makes a nice kick. And LSU now leads it 16 to 13 with about 11.30 left to play in the third quarter. 16-13 score. You guys can't even see the scoreboard. That's probably because when I knocked it. Yeah. There we go. I hit my head on my darn thing. There you go. All right. 
So 16 to 13 is the score now, and Miami will receive the kickoff here with 11.30 left to play in the third. Kickoff returns. Johnson is a 20. And that is a 7 and 11. So a 20, a 7. He returns at 18 yards. So back to the 18-yard line is where Miami will take over, first and 10. Don't forget, just got to go there. So now comes Dorsey. So 11-15 left to play. Miami has the ball at their own 18. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to stick with some – we're going to do some running plays. Let's go inside run. And – LSU now goes on defense. Inside run, LSU calls a A-gaps blitz. So here's the handoff, and that is a two. Inside run, halfback draw to Clinton Portis for two yards. But an inside run, minus two from the defense, he gets stuffed, so no gain at all. So that will bring up second down as Portis doesn't get a thing. I think the running game in this game is kind of so far in this game. I think the running game is a little weak. I think the running game is a bit weak. But then again, you are playing two teams that have very good. That really, I mean, LSU didn't run that much. Miami had a good balanced attack. But I think that the running game in this game is a little bit weak. Should be a little diff should be a little difference in that. Could have maybe added a run. And then you roll a die to see how many game, how many yards he gets overall. I don't know. I know it's av I know he does it by average. I'm pretty sure he does it by average. Second down and ten. We'll go ahead and do a short pass, and that is a seven. And they're going to call linebacker contain Tampa two. Short pass attempt coming up, and that is a 78. That's going to be incomplete. 78 is higher than Dorsey's, so that is an incompletion, and that is third down. So Dorsey not doing too great so far here in this third quarter after driving it downfield to end the, the first half. So now it's third and 10. We got to go long pass now in order to get the first down. LSU is going to call a three. They're going to call a gaps blitz. Let's see if Dorsey can pick up the first down. Third and ten. And that 49 is going to be no good. That 49 is going to be incomplete. 48 to 96. That's a 49. And it would have subtracted minus two from the completion percentage. So it would have been a... It would have been. It really would have been a forty-six to ninety-six would have been incomplete. So Dorsey can't do anything with it. So it'll be fourth down. Miami's got a punt again. Miami will punt. So coming out to do the punting is Capshaw. Forty-two yards is the average. And that is a four, 13, don't be a penalty. So that is a four, and that is, uh, what's his average here? So his average is 42 yards, and the punt is going to be 37 yards. Seven, 17, 27, 37, taken at the 45 by Stingley of LSU. He has a 10 return, and that is an 11, and he returns it for 15 yards. So he actually brings it back to the Miami 45, and that is where LSU will take over first down at the I was sorry, 40-yard line. So it's first down and 10 for LSU at their at the Miami 40. So again, the Tigers start in Kane's territory. Here comes Burrow. Let's can let's go the short pass. Let's do short pass. And we'll go to the new Miami defense. That is a four, and that's going to be a DL stunt. Short pass attempt. Let's see what we get. 74. That's going to be complete, even though that's a minus eight from his thing. 
And that would be, and it only makes it a 77. That 74 is completed. That is a nine. And that's going to be a drag route to Justin Jefferson for nine yards. So he gets down to the 31. And that's going to be second and one now for uh, LSU, for the Tigers. Let's do an inside run this time since it's only second down and one. Second down and one. Miami calls a five. Same play. Handoff. And that is a that is a zero. That is a handoff to Edwards Hilaire off tackle for two yards. And that and it's an inside, it's an inside run. And it's minus one yard for the defense. So it's actually a one yard game, but that is good enough. That's first down for LSU. First and 10. They pick up the first down, gained it, but barely. 16 13 LSU leading Miami here. Mid middle of third quarter. Let's do a short pass again. Miami calls a six. This time, linebacker contain. Tampa two. And we're going to have a penalty, but let's see. That is an O3. That's going to be on the offense. That's going to be an O3. And that is going to be complete. And that is going to be a curl route for six yards to Jefferson. It's a six-yard gain. He's down to the 25. But we got a flag on the play on the 10, and that's going to be an offensive penalty. That's going to be a penalty on the offense. So let's find out what the penalty is. And I'll re-roll that. That's on the thing. That's a two. And that is going to be illegal formation on the offense. Of course, that'll be accepted. That'll bring the ball back to the 36. And now it's going to be first and 15. So that takes away the pass there. Let's do a don't need to pick it all in one time. So short pass again. Let's see what Miami calls. And that is a nine. They call strong shift press man. Which is right here. So short pass. Joe Burrow will try again. And that is a 91, and that's going to be incomplete. That's going to be incomplete. Short pass minus four per completion percentage, but that's a 91. And that's incomplete for second down and 15. Miami's defense gets it done there. Second and 15. Let's try a long pass. Burrow got very good percentage completion. He's going to be a very tough quarterback to kick out. And the defense calls a two. So it goes to zone blitz. So zone blitz quarters called by the Kings. Another pass attempt coming up. And that is a 35 that will that will be completed. And that is a seven. That is a completed. That's going to be a seven. And that is going to be a fade route to um to, to Jamar Chase on a seven. That's a 26-yard gain. And that's going to be first down. 26 yards. So 6, 16, 26. It's down to the 10. And LSU has first and goal at the 10-yard line. Nice call to uh, Jamar Chase, first down. So first and 10 now for LSU. They're at the 10-yard line. Let's do a short pass. Let's see if we can get it in the end zone. And that is a zero, and that is zone blitz quarter, sticking with the same, pass, same play. First and goal, Tigers. And that is a 91. That's going to be incomplete on a 91 automatically. So that's 91 incomplete. Second down and 10. 
Let's stick with the, Let's stick with. Um, let's try a run. Let's try an outside run for LSU. And Miami calls the same. Keeps the same play again. Zone blitz quarters. I think that's the third time. I'm not, I got to keep track. But I don't know if that's the second or third time they called it. I think that's the second time. So second time, zone blitz quarters. Outside run. You only need to roll the two dice here. And that is a two. And it's handed off to Edwards Hilaire. He gets six He gets six yards. No, no difference from the defense. That's a six-yard gain. And he gets down to the four. And there's now third and goal. At the four yard line. So, third down and goal here at the four. Let's do a short pass and try to get it in there for LSU. And Miami calls a nine, and that's going to be strong shift press man. So, they can do subtract from four from the completion percentage. Third down and goal, LSU at the Miami 4, and that is going to be a 24. That is going to be, that is going to be complete. That is a 7, and that is going to be Jefferson 8 yards, touchdown LSU. Four-yard touchdown pass from Joe Burrow to Justin Jefferson on a wide receiver score on a wide receiver screen he goes ahead and takes it in there for the score and it is now 22 to 13 in favor of LSU extra point we had two weird extra points we had one missed in the and, and one blocked that extra point's good this time so So midway through the third quarter, LSU up on Miami, 23 to 13. Miami will receive the kickoff. We'll see what they can do here. They're gonna have to, they're now down by two scores. So now LS Miami is gonna have to try to do something. But Ken Dorsey is not Joe Burrow. Ken Dorsey is not Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, um, like I said, probably had the best season a college football quarterback ever had. And as much as we want to say about Tim Tebow's year, okay, back in 2008 or nine of Florida, um, Joe Burrow probably had the better year. So let us do a kickoff. And Johnson, 20, yard, 20 yards. So we do this here, and that is a five, and that is going to be, uh, so it's a 20-yard average and a five, and that is only going to be 13 yards. He is not getting good running, not good kickoff returns. So he'll bring it up only to the 13-yard line, and that is where the Canes will take over with seven minutes left to play in the third. 23-13. Dorsey back on the field. Gonna have to start real gonna have to start doing some passing here. So we're gonna do a long pass. And LSU decides an eight and against a balanced formation. You know, I really since I have the cards here, I probably don't need it. It's an eight. Probably don't need this. It is an eight, and that's going to be a pinch outside blitz. So that's the defense called. So long pass. Let's see if Dorsey can complete something here. And that 81 is not a chance. No good. And that's going to be 81 is no good. That's in that's a long pass. And that's going to be incomplete. Second down. <clears throat> Even with the pinch inside blitz. So second down and 10. I'll try an outside run. Got to get some yardage here to work with. LSU will call a five. That's strong shift press man. Uh, 
outside run, and that is a six. Handoff to Clinton Portis, and he's going to get 10 yards on a halfback counter. It is an outside run, though, so a minus one off the defense. That's going to be a gain of nine. So he's going to get from to the 22-yard line, and that is going to be third and one. Third down and one of the 22. And we're gonna call an ins we're gonna call an inside run. LSU calls a five. Strong ship press man, same defense. Third down and one. Can Miami get the first down? And that is a nine and on an inside run. And yes, he will. Najee Davenport gets through there for a gain of two yards. They hand it off to the fullback. He gets a two-yard gain. And that is a first down at the 24. First down Canes at the 24-yard line, but I mean it's still the third quarter. You're only you're down 23-13. You got to try to get something here. Dorsey will go to the throw, will go to the air. That is a two. This time it's an A gaps blitz. A gaps blitz cover three. Going to the air is Dorsey. That's going to be a 62. Is that going to be complete? Yes, it will be. 62, that is an eight. Short pass completed. <clears throat> completed to Ethnic Sands. And that's going to be for 10 yards on a screen. And that is a first down. So five fifth, first down again for the Canes. First and 10. Stick to the air. Short pass. And now an A-gap splits. Same play. Number two. Maybe if I go ahead and mark it. But I know that defense has been called twice now. Once again, Dorsey is going to be back to throw. And that is an 81. And that's going to be incomplete. Third down. I'm oh, sorry. Second down and 10. 81 is definitely in the incompletion range. So second and 10, let's go outside run. And that is, let's just so we roll that. That is a seven outside run, and that's linebacker contain. Tampa two for LSU, outside run. Handoff, and that is a five that's handed off to Clinton Portis on a toss sweep. He gets nine yards, subtract one from the defense. So that's a nine, that's an eight yard gain. So he's at the 42 yard line, and that is going to be third down and two. Third and two. I am just going to stick with the outside run on third down and two. They're going to try to just pick up this first down. And a zero is called. So that's going to be a DL stunt cover one by LSU. And it's an outside run. So it's not going to be any. So that's the wrong defense against this play. So as long as they can, as long as it's not a zero, they'll get the first down. And that's exactly what it is. It's a zero. And because of that, that is no gain. Clinton Portis does not get the first down. The only way he didn't get it is if a zero is rolled a According to the chart, on an outside run, and there it is, and it is now fourth down as he got stuffed, fourth down and two, and the zero was the only thing he couldn't roll. Fourth and two, you're down by 10. But right now, your defense is having problems stopping Burrow. I'm gonna go now. Nah, I'm gonna punt it. Gotta be, gotta, gotta be smart. Gotta be. You punt the ball here. You do punt the ball. So they'll punt on fourth down. So Capshaw will punt. Let's see what he comes up with. That is a 13. There's no flag. So a three. So Capshaw 42 yards. 
and only a 36-yard punt, so 8, 18, 28, 38, taken at the 22. Return man is Stingley, 10-yard return. 10, I said 10 yard average, so 10 and a seven. And he returns it for seven yards. So he brings it from the 22 to the 29. And that is where LSU will take over. First down and 10. 345 left to play in the third. 23 13 in favor of the Tigers. LSU is going to stick with the air. Why not? Makes perfect sense. So here comes Joe Burrow. Stick with the air. And a short pass. Miami calls a six. And that's going to be linebacker contained Tampa two. And that is an 0-3, and that is no sack on that one. There's a linebacker contained Tampa 2. There's not a possible blitz. And an 0-3, and that is going to be completion by Joe Burrow, but there is a flag on the play. There's a 10. So let's see what this is. That is a zero on a short pass. It's a four-yard gain to Edward Solaire for four. So he gets to the 33, but there is a flag. And long die. There is a flag. That is a six, and the flag is on the offense. A 10, it's a flag on the offense. A 20, a flag on the defense. And that's going to be an illegal block in the back for 10 yards. So that's going to move the ball. That's going to move the ball back from the 29 back to the 19. So it's going to be first and 20 for an illegal block in the back. LSU has had some tough penalties so far. So now they'll go long pass. I don't think I moved the clock. Long pass. And Miami's going to call a four. A DL stunt cover one. Which means a possible sack is, po sack is possible. So this is going to be a long pass by LSU. And that is going to be a 70. That's going to be incomplete. And so second down and 20. And now we'll try a short pass. And Miami calls a zero. And this one, that is a zone blitz quarters. Short pass attempt, and that's a 79. That would normally be complete, but minus 8% from a short pass attempt. So 85 minus 8 is 77, and that is an incomplete pass, third down. The Canes defense makes the difference there, third and 20. Now he's got to go long pass to try to get the first down if he can. And on a long pass, he can make it from there on a long pass. Depends on how it is. That is a zero. Zone blitz quarter, same defense. Long pass. Burrow gets the throw. And that is going to be a 48. And that is going to be complete for a six. But there is a flag on the play. It's an offensive penalty. Let's first find out what the pass is. That's a 23-yard pass to Terrence Marshall. To Terrence Marshall. That's a 23-yard pass, so 1-11-21 up to the 42, but there is a 10. That's going to be a flag, so let's see what that is going to be. It is a flag. That is a 3, and that's going to be a legal motion. Ouch. That's going to be a legal motion, so that brings the ball back. 19, and that is a five-yard penalty. That brings the ball back to the 14 now. Wow, a big completion nullified by an offensive penalty. They're going to try this again. But now it's third down and mile, 25. Long pass, of course. And the Canes call a five. This time it's a DL stunt. Cover one. 
Burrow back to throw. And that is going to be an 0-3. And nope, that's going to be a sack. And now, now a defensive penalty is called. Oh, my. They got a sack, but it's a defensive penalty. That's a 20, and that is a defense penalty. And this was a long – actually, was a, I'm sorry. No, it's a long pass, not a short pass. So on a long pass, it's not – okay, so it's not a sack on a short pass. On a long pass, a short pass would have been a sack. It's a long pass. So it's a defensive penalty. That pass is complete. Ah, oh, God, I got to get these rules. So that is a complete pass. And that is a seven, and that is completed – a 26-yard pass to Jamar Chase. So 6, 16, 26. Jamar Chase is brought down at the 35-yard line, but there's a defensive penalty, and that is a 7, and that's pass interference, and that's going to be automatic first down. Oh, boy. That moves the ball to the 35, and that's first down and 10. Pass interference, it would have been enough. They would have gotten off the field. Pass interference on the Canes. For that, I'll say, whoa, Nitty. Ah. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Larry Coker just went ahead and threw his uh headset to the ground because that was a fourth down. So LSU takes over at their has as the ball now at the 35. That's first and 10. And they four. Um, we're gonna call a uh, Miami's gonna call a short pass under Miami. LSU is gonna call a short pass, and that is an eight. And that is a gaps blitz. For the Canes defense. And we didn't roll the five here. We're missing dice. 40. That's going to be short pass. That's going to be complete for a gain of five yards to Jefferson. He's caught. He's tackled the 40. It'll be second down and five. Short pass again. That is a one. And this time they're going to call zone blitz quarters. And that's a 36. That's going to be complete by LSU's Joe Burrow. And that's going to be a five. And that's a seven yard pass to Jamar Chase. He's, caught, he's tackled at the 47, and that is a first down for LSU. 45 seconds left to play in the third. Let's call. Let's keep on going. Short pass. I'm going to roll the green die. The green die will, de will, de will decide the defense. That is a four defense DL stunt. So we bring that defense out. And so now we follow the play. That is a 37, and that's going to be complete. There is no flag. 37 on a short pass, and that's going to be a quick out pass to uh, Thaddeus Moss, and that is a five-yard gain. So from the 47 now to the 48, and that is second down and five. 15 seconds left. This will probably be the final play of the quarter. Dave Gardner joins me a little late in the broadcast, but that is okay. Unless you've been watching, unless you've been wa uh, listening, or, or unless you have been lurking, as you say, when a lurk of lurking, of course, is when you are watching or listening a game and, and, and you're not chatting. So second down and five at the 48. Let's do an outside run this time. Don't need to roll the percentage dice. Let's see. Outside run. Miami calls a zone blitz quarters defense. So I'm just rolling the dice automatically there. It's an outside run. It's a four. It's a eight. It's a nine-yard gain to Edwards Hilaire. No change from the defense. That is an eight-yard gain. That's going to be brought down to the 40. And a first down. 
for LSU. And that's the end of the quarter. So in this quarter, LSU pretty much did the job on offense at Miami lethargic on the offense. Miami's offense made a few good plays. That pass interference penalty was gigantic. And when we go into the fourth quarter, LSU is going to have first down and 10 at the Miami 40. They lead 23 to 13 here. And it looks like LSU is probably going to pull this game out. Probably going to win this game here by the looks of it, but we still got an old quarter to play. And what is it? 45 minutes for the quarter. And I actually tried to be a little bit more game flow through as I could. I got to play the fourth quarter before I can make a decision. The game's not over yet, but like I said, there's not much variety. There's really not much variety in the games or at least in the plays. There's not much variety. I mean, there's the look at the charts, like you look at Miami's chart, which is where the gameplay comes from. So you only got 10 results here, 10 results, 10, 10 results and 10 results. I think what you could have done instead of having hard results on the chart, I think you could have, I know you're trying to make the game flow as smooth as possible. I think what you could have had is you could have, let's say you have Clinton Portis and you could still have this kind of thing, but a little different. You could have added another column of dice roll. So you could have had uh, Clinton Portis and let's say, let's, let's say you still call and let's say you call an inside run. And you roll the first die, and the first die would have said maybe a one to eight for Clinton Portis. And then what you could have done is another you could have rolled another die for his average for the for the run. So Clinton Portis, the first die tells you who runs the ball. The second die would tell you what his the second die would tell you what the what his gain is. So you could have done a zero to ten for the runner, a zero to ten for the gain. For the amount of yards he gets, okay, on average, possibly for how many yards he gets, one to nine, like one, one, two, two, three, three, four, that kind of thing. And then checking the defense, the def the, the defense is correct. If it's not correct, there's no change to the roll. But if the, the defense is correct, you could have had a die roll on the card. You could have had a die roll on the card a die roll on the card to see how many yards are removed from that play. If it's a run play, how many, what the die roll would have been, you know, like let's say on the defense card, let's say the correct, it's a correct defense card. So zero to three, one minus one yard, four, two minus two yards, four to five minus three yards, six, uh, six, you know, because pretty, I mean, you could have done it that way. That would have given a lot more variety instead of a set play. Instead of a set play, you could have done it that way, I think. It would mean more work to set up the charts, but you could have done it that way, I think. So the first die roll would have been the running back. The second, a second die roll, the a, a one to ten on an average, one to ten. So you take a look at Clinton Portis's stats for that year and, you know, how many yards of this, how many yards he got that, and you do that. And then the defense comes into play on the defense card. You could, I mean, I understand it's more dice rolling. I get that. It's more dice rolling. It's more dice rolling. And usually more dice rolling does not mean good flow. Most people will, some people will say that. I don't think you would, Dave. I think you believe if the dice rolling is consecutive or just seems to flow through, I don't think you'd have an issue with that. I don't think anybody would have an issue. I mean, a lot of people say that inside pitch doesn't flow well because you got to throw, the, you got to roll extra dice. I totally disagree. I think inside pitch flows most, better than most games I've played. I think you could have done that. That would have given a lot more variety on the play. Same thing with the passing. Same thing, definitely same thing with the passing. Short pass, four to 11 yards. I mean, the only way, 
on this by going with this chart, the only way the and the Canes had forty averaged forty three yard forty three points four. The only way I can complete a short pass for a first down on first down and ten is an eight or a nine. I would have done the same. And it's fun. You don't care. I don't. That's true. I mean, you could have done the same thing with a short pass. Short pass, the first roll for the receiver. Second roll, what he averaged as, okay, what, you know, and then what the, what he averaged as, you know, as a receiver, you know, if he was, if his average was like one yard, like a zero been one, two to three, three yards or four yards or something like that. I don't know. I think a short, I mean, could have, uh, you know, this just makes this flat out. And then, of course, you got the defense call, the defense making a difference in the completions, but the defense does not make a difference in the tackle. So here, like Joe Burrow, I'll tell you what, let's use, let's use LSU's chart. LSU's chart is, just, I mean, I mean, heck, the, thing, the funny thing is, LSU runs better, actually, than Miami does. Of course, LSU had 48 points for in, in 2019, and it was a different type of era. Even 20 years ago, college football was different compared to today. I just think that, you know, because it's all fixed. So, again, you need to. he needs to roll a 9 in order to get 10 yards on a short pass. He has no chance of getting a first down on a short pass. He should have added, a, and I guess he didn't want to do a put in medium pass. And long pass, 13 to 33 yards. I mean, so it means there's no chance of a 40-yard pass play here unless it's a woe Nelly result. So if I follow this, there's no way you can get a 40-yard or a 50-yard pass here unless it's a woe Nelly result, unless the defense is called three times. There's no way you have a 40- or 50-yard pass without a woe Nelly result because it's not going to happen. I like I, – I believe in fun over – a little of, of minor statistical accuracy, but just tells me there's something missing from this game. There's just something missing from it. Something is missing. I know I can create house rules and such, but rules is written. I mean, I believe the score. I mean, LSU up 23 to 13 after three. I believe that LSU's offense was a, was a machine in 2019. It was a machine. Miami had an awesome defense. One of the best defenses ever in college football history, if not the best ever defense in college football history. Keith White joins us here. A little Keith White joins us here. I'm about to close up anyway, but it's missing. Something's missing from this game. It's missing. I don't know. Something's missing from this game. But I'll work it out. In the meantime, guys, for you guys that are joining me, it's okay. I know you're out for lunch. Literally, I truly, I truly believe you were. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm just going to close it off here at the end of the third quarter. I'll reset and do a fourth quarter maybe tomorrow. Uh, don't forget, we got uh, baseball tonight. Uh, we have the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Cincinnati Reds inside pitch, 1976. So don't miss that tonight. So Dave Gardner and Keith White, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys later tonight. So at the end of the third quarter here, uh, LSU leads Miami 23-13. to Take care, everyone.